Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects Hut. Uh, so we've got exciting news, you've probably already seen that we've got a new asset library, which is pretty cool. So it's pretty much everything we've got in the Visual Effects store, but all on one website where you subscribe just like Quixel and you get unlimited access to everything for one small fee a year. And today we're gonna just have a look at some of the VDB volumes and how to use them within Octane. So as you can see, we've got quite a few already, um, all ranging from different styles of explosions and fires. Obviously there's going to be way more and more creative ones as we go along. But there's just uh, some essentials on here for now which are pretty cool to get started. So let's go for explosion number 5, our latest one. So we just hit get. Quite a big file, pick where you want to save it. So it's a gig. So we use a really good new zip compression format which pretty much squashes these files so that they're easier to download. It does mean that they're going to be bigger than um, when they're extracted. Right, so just downloaded the volume and extracted it. So in Cinema 4D I've just loaded a HDR and a texture environment to just show black. So you can see our volume in all its glory. So if we want to just create a new volume, we can go here because I've created the button or objects, VDB volume. Then we go to our place that we've extracted it, poke here, and then set our endpoint to 180. Watch it through. You can move it around in your scene to where you want it to be. Pull that 90. Minus 90. Right, so we've got this. It's looking quite cool. And um, so this is supposed to be a fire. So in a mission, we will change this to flames. Shouldn't really do much until we jump into the medium and changing it to fire. So if we change this to fire now, it's already looking pretty sweet. And um, I'd just say go down to volume gradient in here, change this red to a slight orange, and then pull this back a little bit for explosions. But it does depend on the scale. And we can change this in a bit again. Um, next, we want if we want to make it more like the library, we can make it more dense. We might have to scale it though for this. And also knock this down. Knock these both down. Just gonna put the camera on and knock the highlights down so we get all that information. We can probably knock the exposure down a little as well. So for that scale it looks pretty realistic. There's no thick lines because it was designed to be in meters. If you do want to push it though you can. So if we go back into VDB, though it was designed in meters, if we do change it to even just meters and we pull the camera back a little okay a lot it's huge you can see it's calculating a lot more now um, so it's obviously way too dense so if you just knock that back a bit just so you can see what we're doing push these up This is how you get that cloudy looking smoke. And it's literally just playing with the slider to get the look that you want out of these.
If you don't like the way that the um, light is catching the smoke, you can also mess with the scattering phase. But yeah, so that's kind of a really clearly looking explosion. And obviously with this sort of thing, because it's so big, you'd want, you'd need this camera to be overexposing this. Otherwise it looks naff. So if we jump back into the color again, tweak it just so it looks more like fire. And then you have like a dense explosion. So we've gone from this sort of look to the other look. And obviously it's not designed for this to be in hectometers. We will be doing some bigger ones. But um, so it's not designed to be quite close to the camera if you do do this. Meters it's fine, but with this you will notice the voxels are blowing up. So. If you do, make sure it's a large scene and there's explosions quite far away. But ultimately this one was designed for meters. You can see, you can get some really quite creative looks out of this. It doesn't have to be what it looks like in the library or what you expect it to look like. It's just whatever works for the scene. So there's no right or wrong answer here. So just play, have fun and hope you enjoy our volumes. So hopefully you found that exciting and here is just a little quick scroll down some of our other favorite products. So the imperfections all rendered the same, just with a roughness, some with a bump as well, just to give you the impression of what you can get. Obviously you can use surface imperfections for whatever you want, because it's just a black and white map, but these was very sought after on just a normal shop, so we decided to carry on with them. Um, if you do go to the shop and buy the pack, you get from number one all the way up to 30, I believe. And then anyone from everyone from 31 all the way up to 45 are all new. And we're going to continue to add just like we are with the textures and volumes. So hopefully you found it useful and that you might subscribe. Be cool if you do. Um, anyway, catch you on the next one.